guys, welcome to Jack's Art and Travel Alcove. Um, today we're going to be making my first video on here. Um, sadly I'm going over to camp so I probably won't put up a ton of videos within the next three weeks. But that is okay. Um, the first, my first video will consist of bubble art. So I saw this at a pottery studio and it was really cool. And basically they put some paint in little cups and mix it with water and then they blew bubbles in it with a straw and so then they um, uh, actually transferred it into the cup but since we're doing it on a thing and painting a beach um, we're just gonna like rub it on here like this and it'll come off so yeah we only need for this two cups well if you're painting beach which only makes two colors some washable paint and some water and some straws which I will go get. Yeah, let's get started. So to start out, um, we're gonna unpackage our paint. So we have all of the six colors and oh my god, these straws are mesmerizing. They're paper, by the way, so we're saving the turtles. <laughs> um, yeah, and then next we're gonna make our colors. So I need a bit of blue, and I'm gonna mix it with a bit of green into this cup. looks like great for your sand color and I totally forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video but we will also be needing dish soap um, yes I need to go get that the reason we need dish soap is to make it extra bubbly so that it'll bubble up faster rather than just blowing bubbles in it like a normal soft drink so I'll go get that so you're just gonna need like this much in each it's like a big squirt safety <laughs> Um, then you're gonna mix that. So now you see it will be watery already, but you're gonna need to add some extra water. We are ready to paint. And also, you might want to make your colors a bit brighter, um, or I mean darker, because they're going to get really bright in the with the bubbles. So I'm going to start off and blow into the blue. Wow. And then we're going to take our piece of paper and just press down. So at first you might just get the little bubble things. And so we're going to do the ocean on the side and the sand on the side. So we're going to keep repeating this until we're all done with our painting.
so that I can just push it right on and then it'll pop. So it's working actually pretty well, but what I'm gonna try a new method, which is just putting them directly on. Whoa, now that's cool, look at that. If I can make my painting look like that, that would be very nice. Hey guys, now that I've sort of covered it all in uh, like bubble marks, I'm just gonna let these pop over a while and we'll check in on it and then we'll let it dry and hopefully it'll be super cool like you can always start seeing them popping. Okay guys, so, oh my god, it's like pops every time I talk. But anyways, I think it's time. Okay guys, so in the end, it, the bubbles did pop and it didn't make like a very cool design, but I still love it because it has like the little, um, sort of like fades of colors in there. But I really like it anyways, even though the bubbles didn't show through like they would in a pottery. But still, this is awesome, and I highly recommend doing this. It was so fun, too, and it's so satisfying to watch. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm guessing it'll dry like this. If it doesn't, then I'll put in an update. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of cool things coming. Um, I have travel videos, I have digital art videos, and I have normal art videos just like this. Um, so if you like any of that stuff, please consider subscribing. Um, yes, I'll see you guys later, and goodbye.